this thing that I really wanted to do for a long time, uh, which was to go in this uh, huge mountain that I have here where I am. So enjoy all this. Um, I will show you some videos now, guys. Hope you will get something out of this. So hello, guys. Um, today it will be the big day that we go to this huge mountain that you see there this is the town where I live and I'm leaving it now to go to this mountain here uh, yesterday I tried again to approach that mountain but I went half halfway as you can see there just there but today I'm gonna go there because uh, the guy that uh, rented the house that I have here told me that there is a fortress there in that mountain. So let's let's see what happens. The usual dogs here. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, guys, this this place is. Uh, really paradise here guys this is the mountain that I will go and you know guys here the distances when you are up, up here are uh, huge but it doesn't seem like that and in fact I remember that when they were uh, firing f uh, fireworks uh, down at that town there it took so much time to the sound to come we saw it with my brother when he was here these are uh, blackberries, guys, that I usually eat, but I, I don't have time right now because I will find much more huge ones uh, when I'm in the mountain. Uh, so, the, dins, the, the distance I, I was saying, uh, look, they are near, but they are not. Also, you have to consider the climbing. Also, it's very hard. So, you know, guys, uh, you know Chris, you know, because you're the one uh, that I know for sure that watch the videos. Look at this uh, this view here, guys. <laughs> Again with these guys. So, uh, there, the, um, I told you, you know, here's Blackberry. Blackberry for you. And uh, yesterday, I, as I said, I went halfway. And um, let me not waste time. I found other fruits and, and, and rolls I have. I saw a coyote, really small one, and, and I was uh, I, I want to say, sticks are very important, guys. Uh, these one are very very light and, st and and strong fiber. These are very resistant. You cannot climb, in my opinion, a mountain. You become like a, you know, it's like you have four legs. It's so much better, guys, and it um, preserves your muscles. You know, you use less your muscles of the of the legs. So look at this beauty, guys. This place is, is just paradise, guys. That's why I fought with my father like crazy to stay here, guys. And you know, guys, you have to fight for freedom, guys. Nothing gives, nothing is for free, guys. And you know. Soon, guys, we have to understand a little bit the mountain, guys, because it's where we will hide, in my opinion, guys, when these monsters will go crazy. And you have to learn that there are lots of fruits that you can eat. This one also you can eat, for example. You learn them just by tasting them, guys. This is another kind. Look at this one. This is that I said called Fana. TH. So, in this part of the now, there is fruits that you can eat even when there are no fruits, like this one here, which is Rosa Canina, which is uh, wild rose. You can eat the flowers, but now in summer you have lots, you know, lots of fruits. There's even apples here, as I've shown you guys, wild apples, you know, just to keep you alive, you know. And I was seeing, for example, that uh, lizards everywhere. Maybe you can catch lizards, guys, and cook them on the fire just to survive, you know, just to survive while the, 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 the dropping of population is taking place. But again, guys, 
So this is a kind of fruit that you can have all year long because it's strong now, it's not good enough to eat now, this rosa ganina. But again, you have to check your kinds of fruits that you have in, the, in your area. But you have to be familiar with the, with the mountain, guys. It's, uh, it's our place, guys. And uh, there was this, uh, uh, this uh, broadcast that Bill Cooper did, guys, that was uh, basically, you know, uh, he, we were talking about 2000, where he, it was broadcasted. And basically, he, he just went crazy, guys. Like, he would, like, make fun of uh, the fact that they are counting the votes and everything. And, but uh, he would like not let people would call him and he would just make fun of them and everything, you know. Because at some point, guys, using reason is useless, guys. You just realize that you are dealing with animals. And he just screamed, just, just, uh, just went wild, you know. And I so uh, understood him, man. Because at this point, guys, there's no need to make, make videos anymore to rationalize what they're doing, guys. You just fall to their, to their trap, guys, when you are starting to, to doubt what they're doing. No, at this point, you will just, you have just to scream, guys. Just to scream. There's no reason to use reason with this. It's so clear that this is, this is hell what they're doing, you know? So that's why, guys, in my opinion, we have to familiar, familiarize ourselves with, with hiding from these demons, guys. Mountain is huge, guys, although they have technology and everything to, to check us out and everything, but it will be crazy hard, guys, because uh, the population, they have all been juiced. And so they are unfortunately on their side so the problem in the mountain guys is that you can live in the mountain but you need food unless you're able to to gather food without any problem so fire for example is not a problem you have wood everywhere but again you have to cover fire you'll be checked by the demons this is the place where i usually do the fire but today i'll not stay here i'll go there and while going there, you familiarize yourself with uh, with nature and everything, you know. So it's good. Now, I have to go this way because I have to, you know, there's like a hole now. There's like a hole. And in fact, at the bottom of this hole, there is the reservoir of water there. So I can basically just go here and, and just start to climb like that. So, uh, you know, this is what... Uh, and... Uh, in this last broadcast that I listened yesterday, uh, on the next one after he went crazy, you know, he would just not talk anymore to the sheeple. Just uh, people would call him and he would just you know, make fun of them. Not of the sheeple, but just, you know, like he was making fun of the fact that they are counting the votes, you know. Just It's it just pure comedy, guys, you know. <sighs> he spent so much years and everything to try to wake up the sheeple. After you realize that these people are morons, total morons, brainwashed morons really like slavery at that point what can you do guys just scream and in fact it's, it's useless to even keep making videos guys just start to because we make videos guys because there's nothing we can do that's why we, we try to to use videos as a as a venting out how do you say like um, getting out all this anger that we have the fact that we are prisoners we can do anything guys we cannot live our lives, you know. And uh, but if you, in my opinion, if you try to start to learn, you know how nature is made and everything, get away as as. I know it's hard, guys, but try to do all you can to live in a remote area like I'm doing, guys. And uh, at least you know you have this kind of escape, you know. And we don't know, you know, how things will go, guys. But at least, guys. You don't stay there in that environment uh, where you know it, it just hurts you, you know to stay in that environment they are here in Italy for example they are extending the green card the green pass sorry very green green just like the herb here uh, to to basically where you cannot do anything 
uh, in public anymore if you are not dead. So they want only the dead to enjoy the Matrix. Let them enjoy it. Um, so you have to be familiar, familiarize yourself on how to survive, guys. Otherwise, someone else will take care of you. So try to live in a remote area, guys, as much as you can. And that when the point will arrive, when the shit will, will go crazy, you have to rely totally on them. And again, guys, there will always be someone, you know, God will always put you someone that will help you with uh, a bread or something to eat. You know. Just quickly, guys, I have to... Uh, since it's not reading very well, you know, maybe I, it, it's helpful if I remove my video. You don't need to see my face now. Okay, so let's... Let me go ahead and uh, continue the climb. Let's see if it's possible. Maybe I'll also mute my this mic. It's better for you if I mic mute this mic. So that only we only hear the words of the wise man. You never know, you know. So I am almost at the reservoir now, and uh, I will I will start now to to climb the mountain. So here's the reservoir, guys. And there's only a fence there; you cannot see it from here. But uh, from now on, you know, it's just climbing. After I reach, here's the reservoir, guys. That thing over there. Here's apples on the ground, guys. I mean, that's what I'm saying to you guys. Apples on the ground. These are apples that nobody has touched guys these are good you can eat these guys maybe they don't take taste perf perfectly like uh, the apples that you would buy in the supermarket but i guarantee you these are better guys much better food just goes to waste because they are morons i already have one picked from uh, another tree so i don't uh, need it right now guys <laughs> they're surplus here guys like like uh, marx says <laughs> surplus so here is the the road you know usually the roads guys uh, are on the on the valley so to speak and so this reservoir guys they use it to catch water here and then they have like uh, places where uh, the water falls and and down there there are like uh, places where they collect water where the animals can can drink this one, guys, look, this is nuts. You can eat this also and survive in the mountain. I'm telling you guys, it's not easy, but it's, there's animals in the mud. You can uh, do traps and whatever, and you can uh, kind of survive, guys. It's hard, but you know, I can guarantee you that there's all, 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 always some herb that you can rely on and eat, you know, uh, again, guys. And you, you have to familiarize yourself with the, environment where you are you know because you know it might save your life you have you always guys you have to find something to do otherwise you go crazy guys i'm telling you so uh, when i this um, uh, tricks that uh, i've learned by walking always in the mountains guys but these are things that you can always understand by yourself like it's very important in the mountain guys that you climb as gradually as possible so always see the environment and look what is the better way to climb as less as possible you know because if you go lots of up and down up and down you you get tired you know so you see every time how the environment is you know how the ground is and you always choose a way so that you climb gradually slowly but gradually all the time like for example i have to go down here but uh, i have to go up again so i choose this other road okay so you know guys uh the um, the, the guy that uh, rented my house you know uh, did i told you some other time that he had the horses and the animals and everything you know that I, and i said that he i like this guy because he always works you know 
and uh, he told to my father that he will not take the juice, guys. Unbelievable. So I, I, I knew he was a good guy, guys. I'm not a reptilian. Uh, now I'm taking out the knife, guys, because, you know, well, it's better if you have guns uh, or something, you know, to, to shoot here in the mountain, you know, especially later. But you in US, you, you should not have any problem to get one. Uh, but again, this is a small knife, you know, you never know. It might kill a bear, who knows. <laughs> but it's always useful to have it here, you know. And I and I always, you know, it's very useful this tool, guys, the, this saw. You can use it to cut wood, it's amazingly uh, useful. So I, yeah, I put it now in the pocket that is easy to take, you know. But again, guys, in my opinion, these people that uh, for the moment are not taking it, they have no idea what's coming. Like, if you really don't want to take that shit, you know, uh, they will make your life impossible to live. So at some point, you know, these people, even though they, they look like they are, you know, strong, right? Oh, I will not take it. You know? They will not be able to to survive, guys. But this guy, you know, he, this guy lives actually here in the mountain, guys. He has been in the mountain more than me. So maybe he will be able to, to live here. But again, it's, it's all dependent on uh, if they want to relocate us, guys. They, they will do it. So. so so I'm taking this opportunity to climb the mountain, guys, just, you know, to, 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 to make this video, you know. Because, and, and usually when you walk, guys, you learn new things. So. Let's go guys, look at the stick guys, amazing, these are very very useful guys. So you know guys, now of course it started to become more more steep and, uh, and you know when uh, there's no option but to to go inside the trees, I just go you know, uh, because uh, luckily this kind of tree here guys, it's uh, uh, tall enough so that you have space to go inside you know. But if they are shrubs, you know, that, uh, that you know, with uh, spikes, how do you say, like, like this one here. Like, for example, guys, let me show you. Uh, well, this particular one doesn't have it, but they, they also have fruits that you can eat, blueberries. Uh, but if, the, if the, the shrubbage is small like this, it's almost undoable, guys. Uh, but there are all, always options, guys. So I remember the worst uh, climb that I've did, guys, was unbelievable. But it was near Rome, guys. There's a, a huge um, uh, uh, volcano. Uh, how do you say? Extinct, like uh, not active volcano. And well, this is what they tell us. Who knows? And the whole, you know, of the volcano has a lake. And I was climbing this uh, mountain, which is near Rome. And uh, even though I've been in much harder mountains, like here in Abruzzo, for example, that are really wild, uh, the worst climb that I did, guys, was totally with uh, shrubs like this, you know. And they are all like uh, trying to do uh, with spikes, you know, trying to uh, to destroy you. And I, and I didn't have tools back then, guys. I just went like 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 a moron, you know. And and I wanted to say just a few things about the sticks, guys. Um, there is morons that say, oh, I don't need the sticks. Usually these are morons that are tourists, you know, that just uh, climb for, for sport, for, for just, for just for fun, you know. But they do not realize, you know, how, how, how uh, important these are. And you know, guys, these are even more important when you go downhill, guys, when I will have to come back from the mountain later. Because you just throw yourself and, and just hold yourself like this and, and it really, really uh, preserves, you know, the, the energy and doesn't destroy your muscles for the next day. And remember, guys, the muscles you will see, you, you will feel in at night. I remember, this is also psychological things. At the end of the day, we are always tired, guys. And we, uh, and we say, oh, fuck it, you know. Who knows how many times when I was doing the walks, guys, I, 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 when uh, night will come, you know, I would almost, you know, try to say to myself, oh, fuck it, I'll just go back. Just leave it. Uh, this is uh, your brain that has low energy, guys. Remember this. Remember that when you start the day, 
body is recharged from the sleep so it's very important sleep guys but again uh, the, you will have problems if the shit hits the fan and you will try to survive with the sleep and food guys but uh, it's even more important sleep guys let me tell you because sleep recharges your uh, your body you know in another way and if you have not sl slept guys it's impossible to, to walk the next day so very important to sleep guys very important and again another problem that we will have guys is uh, first of all they have technology to spot us in whatever conditions guys they have uh, infrared cameras whatever you know but again they don't have uh, the means to check everything everywhere. There's lots of mountains, mountains, and uh, they cannot check everything, guys. And also remember that these people are doing this just to get the paycheck, guys. Uh, you that have the will to survive, guys, you are much more willing to to do extra things like uh, uh, compared to them, you know. And so there's these morons, guys, that, uh, and, and, and then there's the, the ones that buy the sticks, guys. They buy them. No moron, you just borrow them from, from the mountain. And then when you're done, you just give them back to the mountain. That it's, it's food for the mountain. They will rot, and they will give food to the other trees. But these are the sheeple, guys. We, we don't uh, want to waste time with these demons anymore. So at the moment, we are, you know almost halfway but uh, not kinda so what I was saying yes oh uh, that lake was uh, near Rome was the hardest that I've done guys and I would move like one centimeter centimeter for a minute very really really slow guys it was terrible I had to to go down sometimes like a serpent this was in uh, the place was called Castelli Romani uh, a Roman castle was the place and terrible terrible truck it was a truck abandoned truck and uh, it's just uh, impossible to do like this one is, is just perfect for me guys i don't care i mean it might look hard guys but if you know nature after a while guys you know that this is this is paradise compared to mm, much worse conditions guys and also one, another thing guys is the sun must be beyond beyond, beyond uh, yeah be uh behind you <laughs> i was not fine the word uh because uh to have the sun in front of you you know so you always go north if you have to climb somewhere well again if you have the option to do that okay always try to leave the sun behind you but again it's not always possible and uh the other really bad condition you know where well, there have been many guys but one that i really remember guys was the one that I climbed 2,100 meters high, guys, which was in Abruzzo, where I'm right, where I am now, but much north, and uh, that one was incredible, guys. And uh, maybe uh, if I have the possibility, guys, I will uh, include it in uh, because I, I was thinking maybe I will do this in OBS, and so I will just play this video uh, when I was this high. So guys, here is the mountain, like, uh, you know, I can, uh, I am at the same level as the peak there, but unfortunately I have to go a little bit down now and to climb again. And down there, I don't know if you can see, there's the highway, which goes just uh, inside this mountain and goes to the eastern part of, uh, of Italy, to Adriatic, and that direction is that goes to Rome. So um, I was thinking, I coined two uh, uh, better ways, you know, we, uh, we have come out, we've come up with all kinds of uh, uh, words to call this, uh, this panda, you know, and I coined two new ones. The first one, the first one is uh, Kamen 19, Kamen, because the serpent are coming inside the sheeple making giving them their seed you know and uh, and uh, the other one is uh, instead of uh, coronavirus or I call it corona is the virus oh, that's all 
Here's uh, lots of wood that we will make fire later when I, we arrive there at, the fa at this fortress. <laughs> Who knows who will ever find it, guys? But uh, and if I will be able to go down and climb again this mountain now, it's not easy, guys. Lots of vegetation, as you can see. So maybe it's better to. I have to see now. I should have checked better the map before starting, but who cares, guys? I, if I see that it's undoable, I will choose another one. So, guys, as you can see, uh, we are much closer now. You, you can now really, really see the mountain. It's beautiful. From the bottom there, where there is uh, the roads and uh, the highway that goes to uh, Pescara, I guess. No, Teramo, and this one goes to Pesca. And, and this is the mountain. We are almost there. I have to climb now. So let's see what happens. So here I am, guys. It was something. So that mountain over there is the hugest uh, of this area that I live. And I live in that town over there, which is in the side of this mountain here. And here where I am now is this beautiful mountain that I will always see from my house, that we where, where I started everything. You know? I'm almost at the top here. There's no more vegetation now, and uh, it was uh, quite hard, guys. You can see a town there, and the highway. You can see here also the noise of the highway there. Uh, I guess the other side of the highway because the ah um, oh, now it divides there. There the highway divides two ways. One goes that way and one goes the other side. So let's see now, because I think I will not do the same uh, road again because I don't like to do the same shit again. Yeah? So I think I will go down this other side. And let's see now if I can find this uh, fortress that uh, my landlord told me. So you know guys, uh, I would have loved to, to have seen, to have found that fortress. I'm sure if, if, um, if I didn't have the, the issue that in the evening it would uh, be uh, covered. So still, uh, uh, the, I can't find the word in English. <laughs> since, since, since I am in the mountain, you know, you never know. In the mountain, even when they put sun, you know, here where I am, the clouds can form easily and uh, and start the rain. And so what I did, guys, is uh, can you see the, the green here, guys? I mean, I covered in green. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And I don't know how much you can enjoy it because my low resolution, <laughs> resolution shitty videos that I usually upload. So, uh, and the other problem I had. Uh, other than the uh, weather was the, um, the weather is a key thing guys if it starts to rain guys uh, it's hard to uh, go down the mountain guys because you have to hold yourself you know for, for not falling and also hold um, an umbrella so to speak you know because if, if you put a poncho you'll get uh, sweaty and it, it, it defeats the purpose of getting what. You know? So, and the other um, problem, how many problems I had. So the weather, what was the, the other problem? Uh, so, the other problem is this, guys. Uh, I couldn't, mm, like, eat, for example, and I ate uh, just without recording that. Because it was, it was not fancy, guys. Uh, I would have loved to uh, made the fire there at the top of the mountain, you know, but so that I could see and everything. But again, it's uh, 
when you are so far from home and in a foreign, so to speak, place that you don't know, and you don't know uh, if you have time enough to find uh, the, the truck to, to, to go back, guys. And, uh, and in fact, I ate as soon as I realized I was near to a town and uh, I could see the town, you know, and, and that for me uh, tells me that, yes, now I can eat safely because I made it, so to speak, you know. So um, I would have loved to, to have showed you fire and me at the top of the mountain and everything. But, I mean, uh, this was just an excuse, guys, to say uh, those few things, which, in my opinion, you know, it's uh, what's uh, you know keeping us so worried and so hopeless, uh, doing videos of, of just you know uh, frustration almost. You know, look, can you? Uh, it was like. Uh, did you hear also the the sound? It was the, um, you know the, the. Did you hear that shit? Man, it was you know what, guys. The I can't find the word. You know the guys that stay here in the mountain. You know the the elegant. You know how, how are they called, guys? They're called uh, uh, Chervi here. Those with the horns, guys. But it was a female with GoPro you cannot see it uh, but you know guys overall it's it's very I'm really I'm really deep in the mountain I mean not deep like when I was there guys at the top of the mountain that was deep man there, there was not even a track there guys to, to climb that shit and, and in fact that was pretty hard guys that climb that I did not of course the hardest that I've ever done, but so um, so I don't waste your time, guys. Um, yes, this uh, now they say, for example, here the, uh, compared to where I what I was doing, guys. Look, this one has addirittura they say in Italian uh, even uh, even the signs, you know, of so you don't uh, uh, get lost. Uh, so, and uh, you know, guys, it's beautiful nature and everything. But uh, you know, apparently we have to to deal with our reality, which is you know, gotta take place in this shit that they call the um, community civilization. So there's no other way, they, they don't let you live with your own forces, you know. Um, my main point in doing this guide was that uh, it's good if you find a way to, to detach as much as possible from uh, Babylon. Because they will be the first one to, to feel the, the heat, guys. When you are here, my house, for example, is just next to the mountain. I just do a, a five minutes walk and I'm already in the mountain. So it's better to to find, and this is important, to find a, a place like this, like I have here, before they start to close everything, guys. Because once they close everything, it will be impossible to even move, guys. Because... Uh, you have to make like documents and everything that you know this sheep will move from this town to this town you know and since we have not taken the magic juice you know uh, beautiful rocks and trees you know it would be even harder for us to to move in this beautiful civilization of ours well, I would call it the farm, a farm of ours, but they call it civilization. Our children always beautiful. Uh, changes language as they want. So they say now, guys, that uh, no, when I came down, guys, so I ate just next to that town. I was still in the tree in, in the forest, but I could see the tree, the the houses of that town. And I could hear the, the sheeple talking. But uh, even though I had need to fill my uh, water, 
I didn't do it guys because as much as possible avoid the sheep guys as much as possible in fact this road here guys I was not finding it uh, because that town there where I came out of the mountain is linked to my town through an asphalt road but I don't want to do that guys because there's a possibility that the pigs not the pigs you know the wild pigs but the wilder pigs those with, with two legs can stop you and destroy your life guys if they want they can fuck with you however you, they, you want and you have to shut up and since I'm not a guy that shuts up it's better to avoid them guys and so I took this road which is beautiful and it's just parallel to the main road you know and it's just perfect like this and the beauty is that they say that uh, soon I will uh, have the spring water I, I'm not uh, hoping that I will really find it but uh, nevertheless my town is just uh, half an hour from here from where I'm so I kind of made it guys this is also a good sign you know it means that animals have passed here well the road is well kept it's fantastic to, to do very doable I know that it's a bit uphill but that's not a problem it's not too much again the signs everywhere guys beautiful so I will tell my landlord you know uh, guys man the problem is that you cannot uh, talk deeply with these people guys otherwise I would have but even they are not ready to to uh, to absorb the reality guys so even if I, if I tell him dude they are about to to, to make make you become like a slave but they are not ready to take that and so we just talk about you know yes I'm going to this mountain here hi he said to me this morning ah do you know that if you go to that mountain there is a fortress okay I said I'll do it this time I mean I didn't care about the fortress because it's just you know uh, they say that uh, when you climb a mountain you know you end up this is an abandoned house guys which would be perfect for me guys this is how I want the house you know but again guys reptilian controls every inch sheeple nasty as they are can come even here and break your balls guys why are you taking the vaccine but I'm here in the fucking forest I'm not spreading though the magic uh, coming on 19 I was lucky guys <laughs> look at this beauty <laughs> they even uh, loaned them the more how do you say and there's beautiful water <laughs> clean water here guys so guys I just had to to tell you on uh, something about if anyone any of you some has made barbecue here beautiful place man um, if any of you watched that video called uh, uh, junk culture which was me explaining that interviews that I, we did with Amerigo. Uh, at some point, at the end, I have to. I, I made a mistranslation. The lady says, uh, "Look at those trees. What what they have done with those trees?" I, I I mistranslated it. Instead, she was saying, and she was right. She was saying, instead of planting trees that give you fruit, we plant all these trees just for for uh, for for just because it looks good on the town you know and she is very right guys if we really planted trees that really feed us you know instead of planting but this is reptilian guys they don't care that we eat junk food guys so this is uh, you know what you have to do to find water guys and you know it wasn't it was hard for me to find it but I had to do some uh, searching because I would not find I was not finding it and luckily I found it, guys. This is very pure water, guys. It comes from the mountain. It's not fluoridated and anything. Yeah. So I will stop a little bit here and then go back home. So maybe that's it, guys. Ciao.